Alpha ketoglutarate, what is it and why do we need it? Alpha ketoglutarate, or AKG for short, has been hitting the anti-aging headlines quite a bit lately. There's been some quite remarkable claims made regarding its ability to reverse human aging. Now I've been taking AKG on a daily basis for some considerable time now. So as well as looking at the science behind those claims, I'm also going to describe in detail the results that I've experienced. But before we get into that, let's first identify what AKG actually is. Alpha-ketoglutarate is a naturally occurring molecule found in the human body, and it's a key metabolite in the Krebs cycle of cellular energy production, so it's obviously a vital component of life. And by the way, you cannot get AKG from food, only from supplements, and of course from your body's own natural production. However, our natural levels of AKG decline significantly as we age, and by the time we reach 80, our levels have dropped to just 10% of what they were in our 40s. Now, something you might be surprised to hear is that although AKG is a relatively new supplement, it was actually discovered way back in 1937. The scientist responsible was a guy called Hans Adolf Krebs, and he later went on to win the Nobel Prize for Medicine, I think in 1953. Anyway, the discovery of AKG was actually part of the overall identification of the citric acid cycle, which as you probably twigged, is commonly known as the Krebs cycle, named after our famous scientist, Herr Krebs. But AKG isn't just an essential component of the Krebs cycle. It also works in many other beneficial ways and through various pathways in the body. For example, AKG activates autophagy through inhibition of the mTOR pathway while activating AMPK, which we know to be an important metabolic and longevity switch. It also rids the body of harmful waste products such as ammonia, which is particularly helpful if you're in a high protein diet. And it even helps maintain stem cell, bone, skin and gut health, and it's even involved in injury repair. AKG has also been shown to stimulate beige and brown fat activation with the resultant decrease in white fat, which is simply the visible fat you see when you look at your naked body in the mirror. But perhaps one of the most significant benefits of AKG are its effects on the epigenome. The epigenome is an intricate molecular machinery surrounding our DNA, and it functions to regulate which genes get switched on or switched off. The problem is that the older we get, the more our natural AKG levels decline. And as a result, the epigenome becomes more and more dysregulated. Some genes that should be silent can get switched on, and some genes that should be active, like cancer protection genes, can get switched off. This epigenetic dysregulation is just one of the reasons why we age. So if your goal is to slow aging and to protect yourself from age-related diseases, it's pretty easy to understand why supplementing with AKG might well be a smart move. Next, we'll take a look at what the latest AKG studies have to say and also what perceivable benefits users might experience while taking the supplement. Well, firstly, there's currently pretty strong evidence that AKG supplementation can extend both lifespan and health span in several species, including humans. A recent study at the Buck Institute, which is a world leading aging research institute, found that adding AKG to the diet of mature mice extended their lifespan by 12% and increased their health span by an incredible 41%. Interestingly, it also significantly reduced hair graying in those elderly mice. But of course, it's human data that we're really after. So it's very encouraging to find that a recent human study recorded an astonishing eight year reversal in biological age after only seven months of taking a daily AKG supplement. This particular study used the True Me Lab's DNA methylation test as a marker to measure any changes in the biological age that occurred in the study participants. Now there does appear to be some debate regarding the accuracy of DNA methylation testing. However, it's currently one of the better tests we have to measure changes in biological age versus chronological age. And importantly, there appears to be little doubt that at least some degree of biological age reversal did indeed occur. However, we do have several different markers of biological age that can be tested for, not just DNA methylation. So logically, if we're looking to achieve the most accurate snapshot of biological age possible, then it would make better sense to combine the data from several different tests rather than simply relying on just one. I would imagine that the DNA methylation test was chosen partly due to the fact that it only requires a sample of saliva and doesn't require blood to be drawn, 
but I'm just guessing there. Perhaps more importantly, and based on what we currently know, should you choose to commit to the long-term use of AKG, then you can be pretty sure that the various internal processes taking place will be helping to slow the aging process and reduce the likelihood of various age-related diseases. But what about those day-to-day -day perceivable benefits that we might experience while using this supplement? Well, I've been taking AKG daily for approximately five months now. So let me briefly outline the three main perceivable benefits that I've experienced to date. Now, although I do take a considerable stack of nutritional and pharmaceutical life extension supplements, actually over 20 in total, I only ever add one supplement at a time to my stack in order to fully evaluate its individual benefits. No additional supplement will get added for a minimum of three months, which in most cases is sufficient time to experience any positive or negative effects that might manifest. First, I'm going to tell you about the changes in my body composition that have taken place over the past five months. Now, throughout this period, my calorie intake and exercise regimen have remained essentially unchanged. So it's fairly safe to say that any changes in muscle mass and body fat levels can be attributed solely to AKG supplementation. At the start of my AKG trial, I weighed 87 kilograms at 12% body fat. Five months in, and my body fat is 86 kilograms at 10% body fat. My strength levels have essentially remained unchanged. However, my overall energy levels and my muscular endurance, measured by an increase in exercise reps, have both increased slightly. All this despite the fact that I didn't add any endurance-specific training. So on that basis, AKG would appear to have effectively reduced my visible body fat while promoting a very slight increase in lean muscle mass. This is a strong indication of AKG's effectiveness with regard to beige and brown fat activation and its positive effect on protein synthesis. Next, I'm going to tell you about the effect that AKG had on my skin quality. Now, we know that alpha-ketoglutarate plays a role in collagen production. So in theory, at least, it should produce some degree of improvement in the quality of aging skin. Now, over the course of my life, I've spent considerable time residing in hot tropical climates my skin has suffered noticeable sun damage over those years. That's me pictured way back in the 80s, by the way. And you can already see the telltale signs of accelerated facial aging. Now that I'm in my 60s, I'm very aware of the effects that those years of sun damage have had. In fact, I remember comparing my skin to my older brother several years ago and noticing that his skin was noticeably more youthful looking than my own. Since then, I put considerable effort into researching and experimenting to reverse this damage so I was very keen to see if AKG could improve my previous efforts. What I've experienced are some subtle improvements in the plumpness of my facial skin and a one second reduction on the back of the hand skin pinch test. So I'm pretty happy with that. Lastly, I'm gonna tell you about the effect AKG had on a niggling triceps tendon injury which I suffered late last year while weight training. Surprisingly, this injury remained unresponsive to treatment with BPC-157 peptide therapy. It wasn't until I began supplementing with AKG that the injury began to slowly improve. This really was an unexpected surprise and for me a fairly solid indication of AKG's role in injury repair. Regretfully, I didn't do a before and after DNA methylation test, so I'm unable to report any changes there. But taking into account the effects that I've experienced and the solid science behind the supplement, I'd be very surprised if there hasn't been some degree of reduction in my biological age compared to my pre-trial state. The supplement industry produces a synthetic version of alpha-ketoglutarate, which is chemically identical to the body's naturally produced AKG. The best form of this for age reversal effects is alpha-ketoglutarate bound to a calcium salt. And this is the version used in both the mouse and human studies. There's also a version of AKG popular with bodybuilders known as AAKG. This product is simply the amino acid arginine bound to AKG, and it's also much cheaper, but not the one to choose if anti-aging is your primary goal. No definitive optimal dosage has yet been calculated for the ingestion of calcium AKG by humans. However, the most commonly recommended dosage on most AKG supplement labels is in the region of 500 milligrams to one gram daily. But personally, I feel that anything up to two grams daily should be absolutely no problem. I'm currently taking 1.6 grams per day split into two doses. Although for the first three months, my dosage was 800 milligrams daily. Now I take 800 milligrams at 7 a.m. on an empty stomach 
and a further 800 milligrams at 1 p.m. with lunch. To my knowledge, no significant side effects caused by the ingestion of alpha-ketoglutarate have ever been reported in humans. But as with any supplement, if you do experience any adverse effects, you should cease taking it immediately and consult your doctor. At my current dosage of 1.6 grams daily, I've experienced no negative effects, only benefits. In fact, there's even one AKG study which involved the use of doses as high as 10 grams daily, and no adverse effects were experienced by any of the study participants. Just for the record, I have no ties to any particular supplement brand, and I simply buy whichever products my research indicates to be the best available. Calcium AKG is available from several brands, and the price can vary considerably, but so too can the quality. My advice is to go with a reputable brand and if possible, choose a product that is free from fillers and flow agents. Now, Calcium AKG is not a cheap supplement, so I'd advise being very wary of any products offered at an unusually low price point. The AKG product I'm currently using is from a company called Do Not Age and their capsules contain no fillers, just pure calcium AKG. Many thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this presentation, then please like, subscribe, and comment. You'll instantly have my love and gratitude. And as always, take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.